Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm with Stephen Borrega, who is the president of Romeo's Gold Resources, a TSX venture exchange company with the ticker symbol RG. How are you today, Stephen? I'm great, Chris. And yourself? I'm doing well. Well, uh, I, I see that uh, Romeo has had some pretty exciting news. It's always great when someone uh, writes you a check for a million dollars. Why don't you uh, start off with that interesting tidbit? Perfect. We uh, we did we received a million dollar check from our from our, our friends at Enduro. Uh, that was on the Newmont Lake project. Uh, it was a deal that we structured a number of years ago. It included a total of twelve million of Enduro shares and uh, and some cash as well. And the last cash payment came through. Uh, just just recently, a couple of weeks now, and uh, we're pretty excited about that. It puts a, puts a pretty significant amount of, of funds in the bank for us, of course. All told, you know, between cash and securities, now we're we're sitting just under four million dollars in in the bank, and uh, and then we're pretty excited by uh, our prospects and moving a number of of different pro- projects forward over the coming months. And, and with that in mind, uh, you also made an announcement last month about the acquisition of a new project in Nevada. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yeah, Chris. Uh, we, it's called the Kincaid property, and it's a it's a it's a property we've had our eyes on. It's uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we're very pleased with the acquisition. It wasn't an expensive acquisition for us, but I think the potential is extraordinary. I mean, we've identified over a dozen targets already. Um, it's down on the Walker Lane trend. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of exciting assets that exist along that trend, and uh, about 16 kilometers away from the Isabella Pearl Mine. Uh, accessibility to the to the to the project is by road. It's a very different world uh, operating down in Nevada than it is in the mountains of the Golden Triangle, where everything is done by helicopter and support that way. This is, uh, you know, roll up on the on the on the on the existing road road system and uh, and start your work. So we're excited to add that asset to our existing Nevada asset, which was the school, the former producing school of mine. Uh, now we've had this this initial asset on the books for over twenty years, uh, but the last work we did was back in two thousand and six. There's been a, a little bit of groundwork done since, but the last drilling was completed in two thousand and six. And we had some bonanza grades that came out of that drill program, you know, 3.3 uh, meters of 180 grams. We had just shy of two meters of 267 grams of gold per ton. Um, so make really exciting uh, returns. And we're going to be getting back there to both to work both on the Kincaid as well as the Scosa asset this summer uh, with the program. Now on the Kincaid, uh, is there any old uh, historic mines or, or workings on the property? Oh, there are. There's a lot of indications. Uh, as I mentioned, there's, we've identified o- over, over 12 targets already. There's a former producing Montreal mine uh, that's, uh, that's dead center. Uh, there is a, a second mine, former producing mine site uh, under the same name. You know, these, these older maps uh, show, uh, show a variety of different targets. And uh, when John Bixock, our VP of exploration, was down there near the end of last year, um, he identified a whole slew of additional targets as well. So uh, a, a, a significant amount of historical work, workings have been identified, and we're very excited to get working on this, uh, this asset ourselves. Now, consolidation seems to be part of your mantra, uh, Romeos, because you also just picked up some additional land uh, in northern Ontario near the old uh, muscle, not old, that they're currently producing muscle white mine. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Sure, you know it's we're we're the largest uh, holders of claims outside of, of Newmont uh, in that area. We have a very significant uh, holding along the trend north and now uh, southeast of uh, of the Muscle White Mine. Uh, the, the 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 property was formerly held by Bounty Bounty Gold, and uh, it was a it was a great opportunity for us to amalgamate our Markop property, which is the name of the the southern extension that we had previously held with this new acquisition. And the big exciting piece of this is that it's a 14 kilometer uh, target for us of Temiskaming style and aged uh, rock that, that, uh, that John's very interested in, in, in exploring further. And uh, you know, it's, it's, we haven't done a lot of work on it, but uh, you know, one of the things that I've been trying to, to do is 
identify interesting targets, low cost acquisition uh, with some potential upside. So uh, I think we've accomplished that in both the Ontario acquisition as well as the Nevada acquisition. Now, in addition to the million dollars you just received, uh, you also raised about a half million dollars before Christmas uh, yes. for uh, you know some flow through financing for exploration. Uh, what do you see uh, the activity with the company uh, for the summer? We actually had two raises just before the end of the year. We raised a, a total of a million, just shy of a million dollars on those two raises, and added that to our, the million dollars that we received from Enduro, and uh, and then the. The, uh, the addition of the of the uh, securities in the bank, I think we're well positioned to uh, to uh, from a finance perspective, at least for the for this year coming up. But uh, we've got a lot of work planned. So as far as uh, initial projects are concerned, our, our priority is going to be uh, uh, Trek South. So you've uh, we we had identified the Trek North uh, many years ago, and we've drilled actually fourteen thousand meters into that into that uh, target. And you know our best intercept was approximately 130 meters of 0.6 copper and point approximately 0.4 grams per ton gold and and some silver. Um, that was in a very intriguing uh, intersection, and we'll be doing some more work on Trek South, which is which is due south of the of the northern target. We're going to be shooting IP and MT, and eventually getting to uh, drills turning hopefully this summer as well. So that'll be a priority for us. Uh, we do have uh, plans for Nevada and some additional work to be done at SCOSA as well as the Kincaid. Uh, initial ground truthing program uh, at, at Kincaid and, uh, and we'll see if we can get some drills turning at SCOSA as well. But uh, more, more news to come on that front. Well, for a, a low uh, you know, $10 million market cap company with a, a fairly good sized bank account, uh, I think you're a, a one and and you know four uh, interesting projects. So you know all in North America, safe jurisdiction. I think it's an interesting company to watch. And uh, uh, thank you for your time today. I'm talking with Stephen Brega, who is the pre president of Romeo Skull. Uh, the ticker is RG on the TSX Venture Exchange. Thanks so much for your time today, Chris. Have a great day.